Good morning, traders. Welcome to today's market review. This is Fred Rezac at CM Trading. Today is June 23rd, 2015, and today is Tuesday. So looking at the markets today, um, let's start with the EURUSD. Big retracement for the EURUSD, about 100 pips from yesterday. That's a relatively big day for a Monday morning. Um, as we can see here, uh, we topped out at 114, um, and then we sold right back out. So um, this was definitely a... Um, Topping at 114, round number. Uh, challenged it a couple of times yesterday. I mentioned kind of that we were somewhat in a in a small resistance level right up here. Uh, we're trading now at 1270. Um, this is partially due for what's going on in Greece. Um, not that the dollar is getting much stronger across the board, but that the uh, situation in Greece is deteriorating and not sure how this is all going to pan out and you know what's going to happen with that so uh, this uncertainty has certainly been felt in the euro looking in the GBP US2 as well big retracement yesterday as you can see here on a weekly chart um, here are more of a uh, hourly chart um, you know it to say it was due for a retracement yeah I guess you could say it was due for a retracement but at any point it's due for a retracement right so and this is a little bit harder to follow but I would uh, definitely consider it because it's hitting somewhat of a previous support level and it's breaching it just a little bit. So the question is, is will it sustain this support level right here? Is it a good place to uh, start buying it? Um, so I would wait a little bit, see if we got to the 5750 level uh, to, in order to buy it, but I would start easing into the position of buying it straight out. Uh, we've had one, two, and I would expect another rally uh, to hit us around this 160, uh, 162 and a half level, 62 and a quarter level. Um, so, you know, this might be a really good opportunity for us to buy it. Just, you know, you might want to wait until it hits 155.45 uh, as opposed to 157. So, you know, just realize that if you do start buying into it, just make sure to have a tight stop loss uh, so that you don't get hurt. And, you know, there's multiple opportunities and you know, going into this is a little bit difficult. Looking at the Dow Jones, we rallied 100 points yesterday. Um, and the Dow Jones, if you look here, uh, this was pretty much the open gap up. Uh, and then we had the number on existing home sales, as you can see here. And that's a major number, as you can see. Okay, so this was news that came out yesterday at 10 o'clock. And boom, we just rallied right out from it. And, you know, we're, we've been at the top of the hill um, existing home sales and home sales in the United States is a very major factor in the economy in the United States. The real estate market has really revived itself and picked up a lot over the past three years since its debacle in 2008. So it's good to see that represented in the Dow. Obviously, the Dow represents more of the um, cross-the-board stocks in the United States. Uh, so it was nice to see that. Looking at gold, okay, this is this I want you to see because we mentioned this yesterday. Uh, we were hitting a 1,200 yesterday, and we just took a debacle yesterday, and we just sold off so hard. And you could have chased it even, okay? It went down from 1,200 to 1,280, okay? And we're bouncing at 1,283. Major level at 1,283, 1,183, excuse me, as you can see here. Um, but... Look at that. I mean, it, I would not have expected this from a Monday morning, uh, but it comes to show you have to be in it to win it. You have to be aware of what's going on in the markets and look at what's going on. So um, that is a major, major um, retracement for gold. I would keep an eye on it. You know, we've had multiple levels of where we said there are multiple supports. So 1183 is a major number if we do breach it. Remember, we have 1171. And further down, 1138-ish level. Um, so keep an eye on gold. It might continue to be uh, more of a, a volatile symbol this week. So it might might have some some nice pickup this week. Uh, in regards to the economic numbers, we've we didn't mention that in the beginning of the of the presentation. We have a number euro number, uh, French manufacturing number coming out at uh, nine o'clock, and then at ten o'clock we have a German manufacturing number coming out. And then the U.S., we have a FOMC uh, speaking Powell at uh, 10 o'clock this, uh, at, excuse me, 2 o'clock this afternoon. And then at 4 o'clock this afternoon, we have the core durable goods uh, coming out. So 
there is news coming out in the markets this, today, and you know we'll have some sort of activity across the board. But keep an eye on the euro, keep an eye on the GBP USD. Definitely keep an eye on the Dow Jones if you're trading that in the afternoon, uh, and for surely keep an eye on gold because it looks like it's 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 trading. Okay, so this is Fred Razak at CM Trading. I want to wish you guys a great trading day.